Hello! So, today we are going to talk about, well, nothing in particular really. We are, I'm going to tell you a story and we can derive hopefully some meaningful, something meaningful from my little story. So a few weeks ago I was out on a bar crawl basically and I met this girl who, let's call her Hannah. And Hannah and I sat down and talked and, you know, we had a few drinks and we, you know, talked about all kinds of things. And so we drifted casually into the topic, oh, so you're a programmer, Frederick? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm a programmer. And she got very interested in, like, in it. So she herself is, well, she probably, uh, she is working as a, a logistics manager, I think, something like that. She works in logistics anyway. And, you know, she kind of, like, if I was going on, um, like, you know, she asked a lot of questions about programming and all that good stuff that made me really, like, she seemed genuinely curious about the profession, and I felt very flattered that somebody actually showed, showed an interest in, you know, in what I do. I mean, the, it's not that common, actually, and when I tried, you know, asked her about her work, she kind of dismissed me and, you know, wanted to keep on talking about the programming thing. And she did so basically saying that, oh, no, I just I just work in logistics. There's nothing fancy going on there. And I said, well, yeah, OK, I, I suppose so. And after as the evening progressed, finally, I kind of asked her, so you seem to be very interested in in what I do and in programming. Have you ever considered becoming a programmer? And then she just, she just gave me this look, like, what do you mean? And like, I asked you, like, what, what, what do you mean? What I mean, like, do you want to be a programmer? Can I help you? You know, do you want, do you want to learn how to program? And she said that she's thought about, she wanted to be a games programmer when she was younger. And she told me basically that she, she doesn't have this, she, or rather, she didn't feel that she had the intelligence to do it. She didn't feel like she was smart enough, basically. That's what, in essence, that's what she told me. And I could have kissed her. I could, I, I wanted to hug her right then and there and just tell her that, uh, and because um, I didn't go that far, but I did tell her the truth of the matter is, Hannah, that this is exactly how I felt when I first started, or rather before I started. I was so convinced that I was too dumb to do this, that I couldn't, that I couldn't do this thing that I found so interesting. And it's actually the reason why I didn't start earlier than I did, because I was convinced that programming was really this, this, this difficult thing that wasn't possible for regular dumb people like myself to do. And the thing is that when I started, I, you know, it was difficult. I'll, I'll not lie to you, Hannah. I, I told her, like, it's not, it's not something that's just this thing you do and you learn it in a week. It's, it's going to take more effort than that. But there are actually, the, it's actually very rare. I told, I told her, like, I don't know if this is true, but this is what I told her. I said, Hannah, it's actually very rare that people in the industry are like super geniuses. They, the av like av they, they are average people. Like, they are smart people, but they're not geniuses, like for the most part. They are just average people who enjoy what they do and have a knack for it. You don't have to be like a super intelligent, super intelligent genius of some sort. You can actually, you know, do very well without having to be like a highly educated PhD student or something like that. And she was a little bit like, oh yeah, okay, maybe. And so I asked her outright, I said, Hannah, could it be possible that the reason why you're a little bit timid to try it out, it, it has more to do that you're afraid of failing rather than, you know, that you're too dumb to do it? And she looked at me and she said, what, 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 like, what do you mean? Well, see, the thing is that I believe that a, there's a lot of people who are, they, who go with a comfortable job or a comfortable 
girlfriend or boyfriend or call it what you will. They, they choose comfort over the thing that they really want to do. And they do so because going after the things that they really want is scary. It's very scary. Because if you try and it means something to you and you fail, that hurts. It hurts a lot. And that's scary to a lot of people. So Hannah, is it possible that what you really need is to just be okay with just trying? Because the thing is that you have nothing to lose by simply trying it out. You don't have to make something of yourself just because you're interested in something. You can simply try it out and I will gladly help you. And she left at this. That, yeah, she was, I could see that she got very interested. And hopefully we'll, I'll get an opportunity to, to see her again and we can, I can see if I can help her get started. Like I gave her a lot, a lot of the tips that I give away, I, that I share in these videos of mine are the tips that, you know, that hopefully I gave to her as well during the evening, like going to Code Academy and so forth. I've said, you, if you watched my other videos, I've said this like a hundred times, but I'll say it any, anyway, again, because I think that's a great platform to learn some programming. But what I wanted you to take away from this is that maybe if if you're going, you know, leaning between should I try it, should I do it, should I just do what I t like, take the advice that I gave to Hannah, just try it. You have nothing to lose. If you don't like it, fine, then that's okay. Then you'll do something else. But don't make an excuse for yourself because if you convince your if 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 you're af afraid that you're too dumb trust me you are not too dumb to do this odds are more likely that you're just afraid of trying something that means something to you because as i said it's a it's a scary thing to actually try things and it's the thing that i look up to most in people i see who go for something i don't I, if i can see that somebody's giving them giving something they love it everything like they give it give it all for that thing i have nothing but admi admiration for these people because i know how scary it, I it is to care about stuff because caring about stuff and risking failure that that takes a lot of guts it takes a lot of guts to keep on going and trying to push for something that you really want